Uh, hi everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm Kirtana from Agami. At Agami, we support ideas and entrepreneurs in law and justice. As most of you are already familiar with it. Um, I think it is a hard um, conversation to follow. Thank you, Ajay, and everyone for uh, to both for setting the tone for this uh, series. Um, I would be talking about the next gen dispute resolution systems that increase trust in the emerging systems and societies, right? And a lot of our, a lot of what I'm talking about will be focusing on online dispute resolution and the work that is underway. I will just share my screen. Um, can you all see my screen? Yeah, awesome. Okay. Yeah, yes, we can. So, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, we're going to be talking about next gen dispute resolution systems, uh, ways to remove friction and increasing trust in uh, the emerging ecosystems, right? So, um, this is something that we are all familiar with uh, in India right now. How do payments work? We go on to a particular app or a service that we want to use, we choose what payment options we want, and then we can. Um, go to the particular uh, phone pay or um, a UPI option or a card or an online banking system and make the payment, like make the payment, right? So uh, I imagine something like that even being possible for dispute resolution, right? And I will just change my screen. Can you all see my new screen? Yes. Yeah, Are you able to see the new? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So um, one second. So like imagine you're on this app, you make a purchase, you make a payment, you make an order, right? And a grievance isn't resolved. And now you're given the option over there itself to explore resolution options. And when you get an opportunity to explore resolution options, um, you could be linked to online dispute resolution platforms that offer different services. Right, so you have different services. You can select one. You can initiate. You can select the service that you want, and uh, you can select mediation, arbitration, proceed with it, and get your resolution process kickstarted. Right. Um. So this is a rough video that we made, but essentially you can imagine it. Imagine being able to choose whether you want mediation or arbitration or being able to select a dispute resolution process upfront when your dispute gets kickstarted, right? Um, so how can we make this happen? Like where are we at in the ecosystem and is that possible, right? So as many of you may know, online dispute resolution is a mechanism to resolve disputes using electronic communication and IT applications using mechanisms outside of court, such as negotiation, mediation, conciliation, and arbitration. Um, the benefits are that, you know, it, there's more agency within the citizens, how they would like to be resolved, how they would like to resolve disputes. It shifts the onus from an adversarial process to a collaborative process. It increases the access to citizens and like the ways in which disputes can be resolved and enables more innovation. Uh, there is an ODR handbook that we uh, launched a couple of years ago. It's available on disputeresolution.online. Um, so the current data, if our comparative outlook is if it takes four to five years in the current judicial processes, uh, ODR processes can take 30 to 45 days, right? Um, we all know what the statistics in the judicial systems are like and the formal systems are like uh, currently in the odr ecosystem there are around 20 odr institutions uh, over 100 enterprises are piloting odr we are seeing local uh, certain government departments judicial departments also integrating with online dispute resolution um over five crore disputes have been initiated on odr right like we're, we're seeing and we're seeing a more influx of cases on to odr and uh, what we're also seeing is that everyone is recognizing the need for it, right? Like more ecosystems want to integrate with multiple ODR institutions as well. So, for example, currently SEBI is looking to integrate with multiple ODR institutions. We have ONDC, Open Network for Digital Commerce, that is coming up um, in the e-commerce space. And uh, they would also like to integrate with, like, 
provide citizens and everybody the option in their ecosystem to integrate with multiple ODR um, institutions or discover multiple ODR uh, institutions. Then Sahamati, uh, which is an ecosystem enabler for the account aggregator ecosystem, right? They're also looking at uh, integrating with multiple ODR institutions. So, uh, and in many of our conversations, especially even at the ODR forum uh, that happened in March 2023, more and more enterprises, businesses want, ecosystems want an opportunity to integrate with multiple ODR institutions, enable citizens within their ecosystem, enable the complainants to discover which, who to go to or assign cases to multiple ODR institutions, right? So what does the current uh, process of integrating with ODR look like? Um, you have an institution, you have a certain ODR institution. So the system is broken. Like there's a, they, we have to integrate with each one of them separately. Uh, and that is what this diagram represents, right? And in certain cases, it's not even possible to integrate. So um, what is it like? So we can make the integration simpler. And we can also increase the reach of ODR institutions and make them more discoverable in the process, while each of them continue to maintain their own unique ways of resolving processes, right? Like their own unique features are there, but we're making the discovery of ODR institutions uh, unified. So that is where um, we started working with the ODR community on a need for a unified ODR protocol, right? So we need a common language to make the ODR institutions discoverable, to select an ODR institution, to initiate a case. Uh, and once the case is sent to the particular ODR institution, the cases are resolved on that ODR institution. And this ecosystem then receives like statuses about the case and updates about the case. So um, it makes this, it makes each ecosystem interoperable as well. Um, and there's an easier way to even be able to track data around disputes resolved through ODR in that ecosystem, right? Um, so what does that look like? It basically like, this is the transaction fabric that we're talking about where there's on the top, you have like different institutions or ecosystems that want to integrate with multiple ODR institutions. And we're looking at making discovery, selection, initiation, fulfillment, post-fulfillment unified, right? Um, so then this is what would enable like when we have these uh, when we have the unified ODR protocol what we hope will happen is that each of these ecosystems can integrate with them easily through these protocols uh, so it increases interoperability it streamlines the resolution process like like we we're talking about uh, simplified integration and development and the way it's currently being designed is also that each of the ecosystems that are integrating with ODR, they get to decide how they want to integrate and with who they want to integrate, right? So that's the intention behind this as well. Um, so yeah, essentially it is a way to create a common transaction fabric to unify the ODR ecosystem to facilitate discovery, assignment, tracking and fulfillment in a uniform manner at scale. Um, and all the ODR systems that you see here, the eight of them are all uh, working closely on uh, creating this protocol and we hope to publish it soon. And uh, Sahamati, Sebi and ONDC have all, um, are all see the need for it and are also going to adapt certain parameters of this protocol and adopt it for their needs as well. So I just wanted to come in and show where the ODR ecosystem is at and how we're trying to make it easier to integrate with ODR.